Okay, so what we need to do now is set up, uh, we need to set up a Tumblr um, and live journal and uh, a blogger and a, a blog spot and a, a, a free WordPress site. So um, if you want to, go ahead and get those started and you want to make sure and add those into your account. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. I'm going to use our software to create a Tumblr account and live journal, and then we'll do um, a blog account. You really got to love this software. It's really cool. All right, and then our Tumblr account is created. That's how fast it is. Um, if you haven't got this software, grab it. I mean, you, you just will not, uh, you, you love it, actually. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is go ahead and create a Tumblr, live journal, and uh, go ahead and create a blog, a free blogger or a Blogspot account, okay? And also, we need to put in our StumbleUpon account we just created also. So what let's do, let's go up and, and log into uh, Tumblr because we need to get some uh, information. Okay, so we've logged into Tumblr on the account we just created. Um, first, we need to um, copy this URL. Okay, it's the one with your username .tumblr.com. Let's copy that. Go back over to our uh, uh, our WP admin. Okay, now we need to get our consumer key and secret key. Now again, bear with me, so I want to make sure that I remember how to do this. Um, let's click on the cog wheel here. That's usually a good place to start because I can't remember exactly how to do it. Okay, so let's go down and click on uh, developers. And let's click on API. And we will click on register an application. And we're going to have to verify our email. So let's go, let's pull up our AOL email. So we'll just log in here and go to our inbox and find our Tumblr. There we go. Let's open that email and let's go ahead and click verify. Okay. Now we should be able to uh, re reload this page that we uh, got our error on. Okay. Now let's go ahead and click on register an application and let's fill out this information. Okay, so we got our name, our application website, we left our app store and Google Play Store empty, um, email. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on register and see what we get. Okay, we got to put our callback URL and then I think the callback URL is going to be our website URL. Okay. Try that. Okay, so we got our application. Now we need to copy these keys. So our consumer key. Oops. Okay, let's copy that and go back to our admin. Paste that in. And let's click on show secret key. Copy that. Okay. Now most of this you can leave uh, the default. Okay. And click on update settings. And we will need to click on show settings for Tumblr. And we're going to have to um, verify it or authorize it. So we're going to click on authorize Tumblr account. And it will bring up all this good stuff and hopefully everything works and we will click on allow. Okay, and that should be good. That should take care of the Tumblr. Okay, so we need to move on to, um, let's go ahead and get LiveJournal hooked up. Now under uh, your settings cogwheel, um, you can um, create a theme or you can have a theme just like kind of like a WordPress theme or a blogger template um, I can make you one and I might make one um, and put them on the download page here 
Um, I mean, it's not that important, but it's actually pretty cool. So let's change our uh, description here, and I'm going to put in my and I'll just save that and then we'll end up putting a theme on here later okay and also we need to um, follow some blogs but we'll do that at a later time I'm gonna go back to my software and click on live journal and let's see how our software does here for us okay let's do the captcha and it done it for us okay so I actually messed that up it was trying to do it for me and I messed it up okay that'll get our live journal uh, created okay so we already got it created now it's saying create first post but now we need to uh, hook this up with our uh, site so let's go back and click on add new account and live journal okay and then we'll put in our username once you get that in you can leave this blank you don't really need it um, so and it'll tell you that you don't need it and click on update settings okay so we have live journal now I recommend that you go ahead and do a WordPress free blog and a blogger um, account and get those set up also um, now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how I use Article Builder. And Article Builder is a paid service, so this may not interest um, most of you, but I'm going to go ahead and go through it and uh, show you um, how I use Article Builder. And what will happen is I'll start posting content to our site. The content will get automatically syndicated. And I'm going to set up a, um, a way to show only what I want to show on the home page of our site. Okay, so we might as well do that now. So go to Plugins and then add new and we're going to do category exclusion so you can just type in category exclusion and click on search and we're going to click on ultimate category excluder and then click OK and we'll just activate the plugin okay at this point I'm going to go to uh, let's see under settings I believe and click on category exclusion and I'm going to uh, take off fat loss tips and then I'll show actually I'm going to take off uh, product reviews too because I don't want to put that on the home page and we'll keep uncategories off okay so now I'm going to click update that way um, it'll only show what we want to show on the home page here so if we were to refresh this you'll see that this will go away and this okay so that's a way to control what's on the home page okay so I've logged into my article builder account and what we're going to do is click on blogs and I'm going to click on add a blog and I'm going to give a description and URL and then the uh, passwords okay once I get that I'm going to click on add this blog okay now I'm going to click on auto posting and I'm going to add a posting job okay now we're going to select the blog I'm going to select the one that we just created quick fat loss diet now I need to select the category so I'm just going to click on weight loss and I'm going to go ahead and use uh, expanded super uh, spun content because we're going to be syndicating this content I'll put it around 400 you don't want too much or too little Yeah, let's do 400 and 500 okay and let's go ahead and do uh, twice a day and we'll just set a 25 limit and here we'll use this uh, particular box and this is going to be our resource box and uh, we're going to put a link to um, our paleo diet uh, guide free our, our sales page here and we also need to set up our free squeeze page but we'll be doing that later so what I'm doing here is putting this link okay so I just copied the link to our paleo diet uh, sales page and let's put in our keyword here okay paleo diet guide 
Okay, now we're going to click on uh, Show Advanced Settings. And we're going to use Add Image. Um, let's go ahead and, and use a video also. And we can leave pretty much everything it loves. Now, we can go ahead and add ClickBank products too. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And put in my ClickBank name. And let's go down. Um, let's go ahead and now we don't want to. Now we're going to select blog posting category. I'm going to put them in fat loss tips and then click finish. And click continue. What will happen is we'll start um, putting content on our site and it will automatically get uh, syndicated. So I'm going to go ahead and create a blogger and a free WordPress blog. Uh, I'm not going to show you. Um, it's pretty easy. So I'll come back when those are completed. So I use my software to create um, the blog, the blogger, free blogger blog account. So we'll click on blog for free. Okay, now we need to um, activate it. Okay, so we have our blog. Now we need to go and add our uh, account here. So I'm going to click on add new blogger. So I'm going to get this posting content to uh, my site and then uh, syndicating the content. So that's how to set up an uh, article builder and uh, start posting content.